guys, so today I'm doing my rolling project pan update number three. This is the second time I have been doing my rolling project 10 pan. Previously I used up three items in this particular one. The first one was the Kat Von D Tattoo Aligner in Trooper. Second one was the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Third one was the Nars Laguna Bronzer. This past month I was able to use up I think, three or four. Um, I actually did declutter them and stuff in my empties. Not declutter. Use them up and then threw them away in my empties. So I will link my empties video down below for you guys to see that I used them up. But the items that I was able to use up was the Pure Adore Argan Oil. This was a argan oil that you can use for hair, face, and body. I loved using it on my body. I would mix it with my Bath and Body Works body lotion and it did a fantastic job at moisturizing my body so I did use that up this past month. Other item was the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizing Primer. It was a little deluxe size primer. I'll try and put a picture of these things up here for you guys but it was okay. Nothing to write home about. I will not be purchasing a full size. And then the other item that I used up but I do have is from Wahara or Hara. This is the Java Plum and Avocado Nourishing Mask. Soothes, deeply hydrates, dry and dehydrated skin. This is vegan, cruelty free. I really like this stuff. Um, it was a light green kind of tinge. You can't really see it because I used it all up. But it was nice. It was kind of like an overnight mask for your face that you don't have to rinse off. So just like a heavy, deep moisturizer for your face at night. It was good. I don't think I'll be purchasing a full size of it. I got it from a Petite Vore box. So, and then I did de actually declutter two of the other items that I was working on. That NARS Orgasm Blush, I recently went through my whole collection and decluttered everything that had parabens or salicylic acid or anything bad for me that I know was bad for me and I've been trying to not purchase, but I had so much stuff in my collection that I knew I wasn't going to use everything up. So I did end up passing those along and that Orgasm Blush was included, so I do not have that product. And I don't miss it that much. It was an older product and I have other blushes that I have been loving recently that have been rediscovered in my collection. And then the other product was the Urban Decay Sin Eyeshadow. Now, in my research I found that the Urban Decay Naked Palette still has some parabens and when I purchased it back in like 2012, around there, it had a bunch of parabens and a lot of the eyeshadows. So I went through, depotted the shades that don't have parabens in it and that I still wanted to use and that was four shades right here. Pretty much the matte brown shades that didn't have parabens so I did save that. Got rid of it. I was almost done with the Sin eyeshadow but wasn't worth it. So what's interesting is I looked up the ingredients for the single eyeshadow in Sin and it didn't have parabens in it. So I do still have my single eyeshadow in Sin and I will be working on it. It's this shade right here. I will be working on it. Don't know if maybe it does have parabens or what, but in my research I couldn't find that it did. So whatever, I'll keep working on that way. So going into a progress on the rest of the items that I am working on in my Roland Project 10 pan, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. It is one on what is on my eyebrows today. Really sad because this month the spoolie broke off and that has never happened to me on any of my other brow wizzes. So kind of disappointing that this is so pricey and that happened. But I was able to work on this quite a bit this past month. That is all of the progress that I, well, product that I have left. I'm not going to hold it right up against the card for you guys. I've made that mistake many times before. But I did that already previously and I can show you guys my progress. So this like black shaded area is the actual pencil. And then last month I was right up here at... 8, 9, and then today is September 7th, so I was able to use a little bit up. I would say that I could probably use this up in two more months, but we'll keep on going with this project, see what happens with that. Then I have my Nude Sticks. This is the Lip and Cheek Pencil in Mystic. Love this. It's perfect everyday lipstick shade for me and very easy to apply and use. And I'm not going to hold it right up to it, but pretty much you can see... 
that last month I was right around here at 8.9 and now I am down to 9.7 for right there. So that's still going to take a while. I do use it a lot, but sometimes I do forget to reapply throughout the day. But still my go-to, a lip product. I pretty much carry it in my purse everywhere I go. Then I have my Laura Mercier Amethyst Caviar Stick. And I've been wearing this a lot. It is what is my base eyeshadow for today. I did apply two other eyeshadows on top of it. But that is where I'm at on that. Such a little bit still of product left. And let's see. It wasn't that big of a progress on my little paper. So you can see right there that 8.9 I was right here. And now 9.7 there. So that is where I'm at. Overall though the past what? two months I use quite a bit if you just kind of take that into consideration so definitely still working on it I don't like wearing purple eyeshadow every day but when I do I do use this and then I have my YSL Rouge Volup Shine in number two purple ink and touchable really didn't reach for this this past month so still where it is now still smells good and fruity so going to keep working on that and then what you guys are most interested in is the new product I added last month. This is my Smashbox Contour Kit. And I've used this pretty much every day. I have not hit pan on it yet. So as you can see, this is the contour shade, bronzer, and highlight. Like I said, I've used it pretty much every day. I don't see really any dip or anything going on crazy with this, but I will still work on this. This is my kind of what I'm gravitating towards anyway for my bronzer lately, so not too bad. I'll keep working and updating you guys next month. So, like I said, I did a huge declutter. I have about 227 roughly products. I do probably need to go through my makeup collection spreadsheet, make sure everything is in there. But we are going to see, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six products of roughly that I am working on for the next month. So we are going to pick four new items. Let's random.org it. Random.org it. First item is number 99. That is, drum roll please, Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Dark Purple. That means aubergine so we are going more into fall so this is where I'm at on this one so you can definitely tell this is where it started let's compare it to where I am now in um, amethyst or aubergine someone tell me how to say that correctly but let's see the difference between the one I'm working on and the one that is pretty much brand new so that is the difference so now I have a darker purple that I can work on with my lighter purple. So it will be interesting how much progress I get of these. But I'll definitely um, keep them in like my everyday makeup basket so I'm more mindful of it. That's kind of the whole point of this project. If I find that I don't like using this, I can always give it away to a family friend member. So let's see what the next item is. Number 211. That is Tarte. Hotel Eras. Another bronzer, guys. So we're going to do it. We're going to put it in here. This is the Tarte Hotel Eras bronzer. I just picked this up in July, but I can try and hit pan on this baby. See if I can do that. This is definitely a darker bronzer, so it's still good for kind of right now that we're more in the end of summer. But as we get to winter time, we'll probably not be working on this so hard. But yeah, I can definitely work on this with the Smashbox, change it up a little bit as we go. They're definitely different tones for bronzers, so it gives me a little bit of a what I want to do. There you go, so you guys can see the difference. Two more items to pick in my Rolling Project 10 pan. We have number 141. That is YSL Black Opium Rollerball Perfume. Where did you go? I know you're around here somewhere. Woo! 
glad that didn't break. So this is my YSL Black Opium perfume. Perfumes do go bad in your collection, so be mindful of that if you have like a bunch of full-size perfumes that you haven't really worn in a couple years. Check it out. See if they still smell good. If not, get rid of them. But this is a, a great fragrance. I think I picked this up a couple Oh, it smells so good. A couple of months ago, this is perfect for the fall time. I can definitely work on this um, going forward. And then uh, the last item is 48. And this is my Suave Moroccan Infusion Shine Shampoo. That is actually my guest bathroom shampoo. So right now it is being used by my guests, but Let's draw a different one. Let's pick a different one. I don't want to have to pull that one out. 208. 208, what are you? Essence Lash Princess Mascara. So this right here is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. It is what is on my eyelashes today. So this is a great one to add to the project because I pretty much use it for my mascara recently. And yep, that is the wand right there. So I will definitely be adding this to the project. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like the items I have already used up. Give me a look on these newer items. And we are going to continue to roll it on out. I just have a couple more items before I hit 10 items in this rolling project 10 pan. Then we start all over and I put these items back in my collection if I still want them and then draw 10 items new. Just kind of circulate through my beauty collection that includes, like I said, hair, skincare, makeup, all of the above. I do need to work on my little inventory collection a little bit. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are interested in more videos from me and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!